It's a typical morning at this correctional reception center in Pickaway County. Inmates filter into a dining hall for breakfast. The state pays 80 bucks a day to feed, house, and keep an eye on each of the convicted criminals who live here. Those costs add up and are part of the reason legislators passed a law they say will save the state money. Bill Seitz is the Republican senator who sponsored the sentencing reform legislation, which cleared the General Assembly nearly a year and a half ago. He says at that time, Ohio's prisons were 15,000 inmates over capacity. The oldest saying in the book is you can't put 10 pounds in a five pound bag. And when you have that kind of prison overcrowding, it's not only expensive, it's also dangerous. It's dangerous to the guards, it's dangerous to the law abiding prisoners, and it creates a powder keg environment where the pressure needs to be relieved. Senator Seitz says the law should save the state more than half a billion dollars through 2015, but it's too early to tell how much money's been saved so far. We reached out to Ohio prison officials for some early numbers on savings and how the number of prisoners has fluctuated. The Corrections Department would not agree to an interview, but sent us a statement that says we are in the process of analyzing the most recent data relative to HB 86 and we are not prepared to have discussions about it at this time. But a top prison official did grant an interview to a Licking County newspaper. Linda Janes told the Newark Advocate, quote, we certainly have seen some impact thus far, but not quite what we anticipated. This prison was designed to hold 960 inmates when it opened 25 years ago. But today, it holds almost twice as many. Cells meant to hold one inmate now often hold two. The overcrowded conditions at the Correctional Reception Center in Orient are similar to other prisons across Ohio. On the first day of July, the state prison population was nearly 50,000. That's 11,000 more than the system is supposed to hold. Reducing those figures starts in the courtroom. The sentencing reform law instructs judges not to send certain low-level felony offenders to prison. Instead, the convicted criminals are supposed to be sentenced to alternative facilities. That part of the law has been a mixed bag for Judge David Branstool. And one problem that we've had to deal with here in our county is that they closed our community-based correctional facility. And so on the one hand, they said, look, deal with these people out in the community first, use local options first, use those alternative sentencing uh, options first. Then on the other hand, they said, oh, by the way, we have to close your community-based correctional facility, which did just that for you. Republican State Representative Jim Butler is one of two lawmakers who voted against the final version of the bill in the House. Did you not think it would help with prison overcrowding and saving the state money? Well, I, I, I actually did think that it would probably help with overcrowding and saving the state money, the state money, but it would cost more money for local governments because for fourth and fifth degree felons, uh, the, the option of sending somebody to prison would no longer be there. And so what ends up happening then are ju judges, their only option is to send them to jail. County jails get no money from the state. Ohio does pay for some of the local diversion programs, but a lot of that money is drying up. And that lack of funding on the local level is a concern for Bob Cornwell. He's the executive director of the Buckeye State Sheriff's Association. Cornwell says it's too early to assess the impact of the law on the county jails. He says it could be minimal or disastrous. It's now law. Governor John Kasich signed the legislation on June 29th of last year. Senator Seitz, who sponsored the bill, says since then the inmate reduction has been slow but steady. And he says that's what wins the race. Michael Locklear, WOUB News.